Hey guys, Hyper right here, and today I'm going to teach you some advanced tips going into your next raid. Let's cut the bullshit and get straight into it. I'll be going over five super crucial tips that I see every Tarkov player break. Yes, even the best players make these mistakes. First up is left hand versus right hand peak. This, in my opinion, is the most crucial. Second is angle holding. Third is run peaking. Fourth is knowing your gun, attachments, and ammo. And fifth, rat versus shad, knowing when to do both. I'll now go over our first tip, left hand versus right hand peak. As you can see here in the right hand peak, only a slight portion of his body is exposed. Compare this to the left hand peak, as seen here, you can see that the body is more than exposed and it needs to be. This is why I try to tell everyone that when fighting people, try to use a right hand peak to your advantage. Here's an example of one of the fastest peaks in the game, alt plus e combo. As you can see here, he appears on my screen in less than half a second. I recommend only using this while crouched and never do this while standing. Lastly, we have slight leaning. This is one of the strongest peaks in the game, as you can control how far your character moves when leaning. Shown by these examples, you can see the difference between right hand and left hand peaks. My next tip is angle holding. I only recommend angle holding when you or the enemy don't know exactly where each other's positions are. If the enemy does know exactly where your position are, they can get the advantage and pre-fire you, which you don't want to happen. Now, as you see here in this clip, you can see that me and the enemy know each other are in the basement, but don't know exactly where we are. I decided to go behind the door and use a slit through the door to get the element of surprise on him, and I'm able to take him out here. Now, I decided to push his friend, which I do here, but I made the mistake, as demonstrated in my first tip, to never left hand peek. I took the left hand peek and I get punished for it. My next tip here is run peeking. As you can see here, I'm sitting on red stairs, as I know there's a three or four men sitting inside cafeteria. I decide to angle hold the door and see if one of them likes to challenge me. Luckily enough, I can pick one off here. I decide to take this advantage and quickly push the door running past it while holding my middle mouse button to look inside. I see one in the back corner but don't see the other one. I hear wood and quickly turn around and see that he's left peeking. I decide to take this advantage and challenge him. I quickly win this and decide to quickly challenge the guy inside as well. Yeah, yeah, keep talking. After healing, I quickly push back. It then becomes an audio game. I listen to what he does and notice he starts to reload. I decide to take this advantage and grab an easy kill. Uh. Onwards to my second to last tip. Ammo, weapons, and attachments. As we can see here, I'm on EFT.monster. If you're a new player, I recommend using this website to compare bullets. I will also link this down in the description below. Here you can see all different types of bullets in the game and compare them. As you can see here, I'm selecting all the ammo types. You can also see here on a dotted line is a chest HP and a head HP. So if I found ammo in raid or I want to use a certain ammo, such as barricade, I know that I can almost pen class four and I will most guaranteed kill the chest if they are wearing anything below. Here, I can see AP bullet from a Lapua Magnum. Here, I'll know it will one shot no matter where in the chest, as it's one above the chest HP, and two, it's above class armor six. I can also look at bullets from mounted LMGs as well, such as the ones on reserve. Here, we can see it does 82, 182 damage and 70 pen. This will most guaranteed one shot if it hits anywhere in the chest or head. Onwards to guns. Now, when choosing a gun in Tarkov, you have to ask yourself what you're doing in that raid. Do you plan on going reserve and money farming and keeping everything close quarters? Well, maybe something like a Val fits you. Or maybe you just want to go labs and blow people up and have fun. Maybe the GL's for you. Or you want to keep yourself versatile and have 60 rounders and mag dump people from mid to long range. Maybe something like the M4 is for you. 
Now, in my opinion, the best gun to use in the game is the gun that you feel most comfortable with. A gun that you feel comfortable with will give you confidence, resulting in a higher survival rate and better experience. Moving to attachments, you want to choose wisely. You also want to choose something, like I said before, what you're confident in. Are you more of a close range type player? Maybe something like the PK or the hollows for you. Or maybe you want to keep distance and watch people from abroad. Maybe something like a flur or a thermals for you. Or maybe you want to play both close quarters and long range and play slow. Maybe something like the voodoo's for you. When choosing, make sure you find something that you like and that you're confident in. Onwards to my last tip. Now, here in this clip, you can see I'm unloading ammo. Here, I then hear people coming down into bunker. I then decide to not move to count how many players there are. So far, I hear two. After guaranteeing only hearing two, I decide to slowly see what type of gear they have. Here I notice their two player scouts. I decide to mess with them a bit. While looting the bodies, I heard someone coming down from school side. I decided to drop my backpack and set up a slight lean where only my arm and the side of my head is peeking. I land 2-3 shots with my short burst and decide to check my mags and make sure I don't load anything other than 7 and 39. Hearing a gunfight inside, I know the guy is wounded. So I decide to make a play and push him. Noticing he closed the door, I decide to go around. Noticing he magged up, I decided to take this opportunity to push down the corridor. Knowing the door is closed, I throw the grenade and wish for the best. And there we go. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. I know the guide is a little scuffed. Uh, I'm still new to Adobe. But uh, I hope you guys enjoy the video. And if you guys want any more guides, then uh, let me know. Alright, I'll see you guys on stream. Peace.